In the last three seasons, the LCC football program made three straight trips to the regional finals. In 2020 and 2022, they advanced as far as the state semis. The challenge for 10th year head coach Scott Palti is replacing a large senior class that boasted four all Ohio talents, but with this challenge comes new opportunities. Our Tony Quach takes our countdown to kick off to LCC High School. Countdown to kickoff is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. We were very fortunate. We had a large senior group last year, and a tremendous group of leaders, and we've got a lot of guys to replace. We're a very young football team. We only have uh, three seniors on our roster. Uh, we're going to have to start a lot of sophomores, um, but kids have great attitudes. They've been working hard and really excited to see uh, their improvement over the course of the season. The T-Birds returned four starters on offense and three on defense after graduating 14 seniors, which included four All-State performers. They do return the senior duel of second team All-State QB Carson Parker and wide receiver Billy Burke. I like where we're at. I feel like there's a lot of passion going into the season. Um, you know, obviously the goal being to get back and then pass where we were last year. So I'm really excited and I really like what I've seen so far. You know, just taking um, taking the young guys under our wing and trying to make them the best that they could be all summer. And now finally it's time for them to show what we've uh, tried to make them to be. LCC has reached the regional finals three times in the last three years. And they've also advanced the state twice in that span. Most recently in 2022, when they fell to eventual state champion Ubreman, and that served as a motivation for this year's LCC team. Watching us get to play in big games each week in November and make the state semifinals, and you know, our young guys want to, want to experience that same thing. They they've, they want to be on the field, experience it, not the sidelines. So I think that's good motivation. You know, the winning hopefully continues to breed more winning. This is LCC's 10th year competing as an independent team. With their independent schedule, it challenges the T-Birds to compete against different teams with unique styles of play and in turn prepares them for a potential tournament run past week 10. We play for the postseason here because obviously we're not in a conference. So we don't have a conference championship to win. So if we can just get better weeks 1 through 10 when week 11 comes around and when we're in the playoffs, we're hopefully the best we can be. But with us having probably, once again, the toughest schedule in Division 7, it's a really good builder for the playoffs. So that way when we get into the playoffs, we're very well prepared uh, for that kind of football, that intense playoff football. We all love a good old-fashioned rivalry match, right? Well, LCC opens up their season against two Allen County foes. In week one, they take on the Shawnee Indians. And then in week two, they battle the St. John's Blue Jays in the latest edition of the Holy War. Obviously, right now, our focus is on week one. It's, it's a big game, another rival. And next week, we'll, we'll get ready for Delphi St. John's. And, uh, you know, another really good football team with, with well-coached kids and hard-nosed kids. And uh, we'll have our work cut out for us that week as well. Despite the inexperience with the underclassmen, this year's T-Bird squad is focused on building towards the future while also competing week in and week out. Having uh, a lot of underclass, you just hope to watch them grow throughout the year that they're not making the same mistake week one, they're not making that same mistake week, week seven and eight. So we're just hoping to see some continued development uh, from our young guys and with some of the veterans we have back, we've, we can do that. We think by the end of the year, we have a pretty nice football team. In Lima, Tony Quach, your News Now Sports.